1954, a United States senator from a tiny town in Idaho tipped off the owner of the Washington Senators, Calvin Griffith, about an obscure farm boy who could absolutely crush a baseball. That boy became Harmon Killebrew, whose 573 career homers rank 11th all time. When the twins moved to Minnesota from Washington in 1961, Killebrew's career took off. The face of Twins baseball, Killebrew, still has nine of the ten best single-season home run totals in franchise history. Harmon Killebrew died today at age 74 from esophageal cancer. Tim Kirkshin has more on one of baseball's greatest sluggers. The killer connects, and he knows it's gone. In 1959, Harmon Killebrew's first full season, he homered twice in a game five times in a 17-game stretch en route to tying Rocky Colavito for the American League title with 42 home runs. What looked like routine fly balls from Killebrew often ended up in the seats. I'd go out to where Harmon would hit some of his shots up in the upper deck, and I'd look back at home plate, and I could barely see it. Killebrew hit 40 homers in a season eight times, but surprisingly never hit 50, at least not officially. I hit a ball into center field bleachers in Fenway Park in Boston in, in 1969 when I hit 49 home runs. And, and the umpire said it hit the, the facing of the wall. I got a double out of it, or I would hit 50 that year. 1969 was also the year that Killebrew won the AL MVP, one year after suffering a serious hamstring injury, stretching for a throw at first base. Then on August 10, 1971, Killebrew joined one of baseball's most elite clubs. And that may be it. It is number 500 for Herman Killebrew. He made all-star teams at three different positions, first base, third base, and left field, and played in one memorable World Series in 1965 when his Minnesota Twins lost an epic seven-game series to Sandy Koufax and the Dodgers. That's baseball. I'm just thankful I was able to play as long as I did and do as well as I did. In 22 Major League seasons, Harmon Killebrew hit 573 home runs, 11th most all-time. In 1969, he won AL MVP honors after hitting 49 homers, driving in 140 runs. In 1984, the baseball writers inducted the 13-time All-Star into the Baseball Hall of Fame.